boy coming on camera <laughs> looking like a hot mess what's up everybody first and foremost i want to thank everybody yesterday for hearing my story about my situation about being homeless and you know leaving some great comments as well that video also received a lot of dragging for filth towards me because of my commentary about you guys implying that I said it's also a minor's fault if he has sexual int sexual intimacy with a with a man, same sex, opposite sex. I did not say that. What I said is the minor is old enough. You know, a minor is 17 years old, a 17 year old. 16, 15, 14, and at 14, I was old enough to know better not to get into relations with somebody of that age. Um, especially nowadays, a lot of these kids, they are smarter than we were way back in the day with these cell phones and these technologies. What I'm also saying is that parents should monitor their children at all times, their, their phones, technology, game system, whatever. So these type of situations can be limited and hopefully become a rarity. I did see a lot of people concerned about me with my story. This was in September of 2017. You know, I was in my car for three months in the cold. I had money. I was sleeping in my car by choice. You know, I actually had two got two jobs at the time. I was just in a bad mental space. Um, I had people also ask me about donating money to my channel or just donating money to me and why I don't have that join button that everyone has on their YouTube channel. I do have it. I just really haven't activated it yet at the moment. I'm going to. So, I mean, if you would like to do that in the future, that would be something nice. And I would also really appreciate it. But financially, I am doing great. Thank God. Um, and I'm, I'm a book. That's a blessing, and I count my, my blessings every day towards that, and I really, truly do, truly, truly, really do um, feel great that you guys are concerned, because I'm not really used to that. It's, it's usually the feeling of, that I have. It's me against um, reality. So I do look like a hot mess. I do understand. I just came from a walk, and before I went on a walk, I did have a salad for lunch that I bought. I went shopping for the full week, spent like in total... $39 literally in a full week just for me and literally most of the time I've been my own I've been spending $150 a week just on food for myself so trust and believe y'all I'm eating okay so I don't I mean I'm not hurting financially or anything but I'm saving money listening to moms you know spending less and saving more and that should be the realm of navigating through this world I'm so excited because I'm going back to the view this Monday, tomorrow, I am going to be on The View with the ladies, Joy, Whoopi, Sarah, Sunny, Megan. I haven't been in so long. I'm just, oh gosh, I'm going to cry when I see my ladies. So watch me tomorrow on The View. Check your local listings for time. All right, bye. So anyways, y'all saw the video about Sherry Shepard being excited to be on The View. This was her last time on The View was in 2018. And poor thing in that video, she was really excited because in 2018 was her last appearance on The View. And today's View segment of hers was very awkward, especially when it came to Meghan McCain with her fake ass smile. And she deserves an apology. Meghan McCain deserves to she needs to apologize to Sherry Shepard for allegedly banning her from the show. You guys know that Sherry Shepard went on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen and Andy Cohen, messy bottom, cokehead self, asked Sherry uh, what she thinks about Meghan McCain on The View. And Sherry simply replied that I think she needs to stop carrying the whole Republican Party on her shoulders. Just ease up and tense up a bit. I'm paraphrasing here. Meghan McCain, the snowflake, got offended and since then, Sherry hasn't been on The View. She went on the fake called The Talk. And in reality, The Talk is really the underdog and the copycat of The View. So you 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 spent so much time on The View. You're an asset to The View, seven years. But yet you go on The Talk instead of The View. That's because Megan McCain, McMuffin, got offended. And so she was banned on The View. However, due to Meghan McCain's maternity leave and of you having statistics, proven statistics that they can do well and do number one on a show without Meghan McCain, 
Now, Megan McCain lost her job security. During the time when Sherry Shepard was off the view, producers were really pissed off because they love Sherry behind the scenes. Even Sarah Hands brought, brought up to the fact today's show that everyone loves you on the view. It's all love. She has no not one person that dislikes her. Megan McCain can't say the same. She admitted it on the view before with Raven Simone. And now I was happy to see Sherry Shepard on the view. I mean, she wasn't the smartest person on The View. I mean, in my opinion, in terms of politics, she is dumb as rocks when it comes to politics. Hot Topics is more of a segment, especially when she did it on Wendy's show. Even Barbara Walters, the creator of The View, basically told Sherry Shepard that she needs to read a book. You know, she got a lot of heat for saying the earth is flat, you know, instead of round and then saying just things on The View that really... Uh, wasn't in intellectuality and, you know, wasn't really smart. Like it wasn't intellectually smart or anything. So I think she's really doing well on Dish Nation. She's doing well with her sitcom and doing well with her podcast. To me, that's more of her lane. I would actually watch the talk show like she did when she was on the Wendy show. When she did the hot topics. I would definitely watch that for sure. But I'm glad this woman, Megatron McMuffin, lost her job security. She still needs to apologize to Sherry Shepard. I know The View watches my channel. She still needs to apologize to Tara Setmeyer for Tara bringing more morality and, and, and principles over her party. And she's a true conservative. But yet yeah, Megatron, Megan McCain, is defending the whole Trump cult and banned uh Tara set my on a view allegedly because she hasn't been on a view since then and brought her husband into this. What man, what actual man bullies a female? What, what man does that? What real man does that? To me, that's not a real man. To me, that's a skunk. If you really want to be a real man, you would handle Tara Setmeyer like you handle Donald Trump. The fact that he calls your own wife, Megan McCain, fat. The fact that he said that she's not good for TV, that she's not talented. The fact that John McCain has been bullied by Trump all these years, but yet you are a skunk and the only man that you appear to be is leeching off of Megan McCain's money and tackling females like Anna Navarro and Tara Setmeyer from The View. Who does that as a man? Who does that? Who, who really, who, who does that? You know, you, you're that, that's that's not a man, you know, at least if you want to attack them and be inclusive and attack the man that allegedly funds your your I almost said F-bomb <laughs> funds your stupid website called the plagiarist. OK, that I mean, you're not a real man. You're not. You know, you don't attack a woman. And then at the same time, you're going to be hush hush when Donald Trump, the president of the United States, goes on national television and calls your own wife untalented and fat for television. You don't do that. You just don't. Anyways. Let me know what's in the comments below. Please do subscribe and click the bell so you will be the first to know when I upload icebreaker question. How are y'all dealing with this cold weather? Okay. <laughs> it's literally nine inches of snow up north of Louisiana. But deuces. Yay.